What up everybody, it's me, Blake316, here to give my review on Tomb Raider, aka Tomb Raider 2013. And one word to describe this game is amazing. And this, in my opinion, is my game of the year. Now, automatically, I'm people, sure people are seeing the title of this video and just heard me say those words out of my mouth and pretty much saying, Blake, you're an idiot, Bioshock Infinite is the game of the year. Let's be honest, Bioshock Infinite has a great story. Probably one of the best stories ever told in gaming history. But let's be honest. It's just another generic first person shooter. Th th it brings nothing new to the first person shooting genre. Unlike Tomb Raider. This game is amazing. Like I said. When I first seen this game at E3. I automatically seen the, automatically seen the trailer. And I was like I have to get this game. The only hesitation that I had about this game. Was that she was running around with a bow and arrow. And the reason why I hesitation. Because it's like a bow and arrow action gameplay. Can't be too good. The reason why I thought that. Was because all these games are all the same. They always Their main weapon is always a gun. And they're just gunning things down. And shooting things down. And I was kind of you know. Worried about the change with the bow and arrow. With that being said, out of all the weapons she used in this game, the bow and arrow was my favorite. Getting headshots in this game with the bow and arrow, having the option to do a regular bow and arrow, to uh, a fire arrow, to being able to shoot the arrow and climbing places because it, it, it throws a rope at things. This game was friggin' fun, action-packed, and amazing as hell. This is one of those games that if you have a group of people around you, they have no problem watching you play this game because it's that good and it looks like a movie. To get into graphics, this is by far one of the best looking, if not the best looking games I've ever played on consoles, period. Now, I do own Uncharted 3, and Uncharted 3 is also one of the best looking games I've ever played. With that being said, there's times where Uncharted 3 will have one scene or one part of the game that looks really good, but then the rest of the game looks good but not great. With that being said, in my opinion, Tomb Raider looks great throughout the whole time. Whether it's the cinematics, to just the, the in-game gameplay, or just... It's, it's both. When it goes to cinematics and it changes into the in-game, it just makes a clean uh, transition. And it's just a great looking game. As far as the action, it's action-packed non-stop. Whether you're climbing things, you're swinging from things, the weapons, whether you're using the pistol, the bow and arrow, the shotgun, the, the, the machine gun. They all look good as hell and they kill everything. The enemies were really smart in this game. Like, they're smart enough to not just walk in front of you and get shot. They're ducking behind things. They poke out when it's when you stop firing. When they, they know how to lead up to you where they're not just charging at you. They'll duck, charge, duck, charge. They have cover systems. It's a good-ass game. As far as the Tomb Raider story, it's friggin' good as hell. Basically, they're on a boat or a plane. Don't really remember that doesn't mean it was, I, how good it really was. I don't remember, <laughs> but it was to the point where they're on. A, they crashed on this island and they're trying to get off. Basically, they're wondering why they can't get off. People are trying to save them and no one can save them because of strange storm systems that happen. Um, yeah, storm systems. And basically, as the story develops, you realize there's these crazy people on the island sacrificing people for some type of sun queen who's causing all these storms. Basically, Lord Craft. Has to save the day. She starts off as a, a regular girl. And then she eventually gets stronger. And starts kicking everybody's ass. It's pretty dope. Um, I actually beat this game. And it's a pretty long game by today's standards. It's about like a 12 to maybe 15 hour gameplay. Depending on how you do it. I beat this game about 68%. Completion. I completed the story, but there's tons of optional tombs. There's other items just to look to, to, to scavenge and try to find. Um, as far as the puzzles in this game, the puzzles weren't that hard, and that was quite surprising for me because back in the day, Tomb Raider and Tomb Raider 2, I don't know anybody who beat those games. And there were games that you had to buy like a strategy guide with. This game, you didn't need that. And I don't know if that's me becoming more experienced as a gamer and just knowing how to beat games. Or maybe it's not that hard. But that's not a bad thing because this game was really friggin' good. Like I said, the puzzles weren't too hard. There was one puzzle I got stuck for about 20 minutes. You know, after I figured it out, I was like, wow, it shouldn't really have took me that long. But it is what it is. Uh, the optional tombs weren't really rewarding other than finding an extra item or two. That didn't really do anything for the actual gameplay. Just, you know, gamer achievement points. Um, 
Now the multiplayer. People say the multiplayer is horrible on this game that it could have used <laughs> you know, a little bit of extra time and a little bit of extra work. Let's be honest, if you played Uncharted, this multiplayer on this game is identical to Uncharted. If you say it's not, you're a liar, you're delusional, and you just need to stop running. Because this game is just as bad multiplayer-wise as Uncharted. There is no difference. <laughs> Another thing, the Uncharted, I mean Uncharted, the multiplayer on this game is pretty much dead. I don't know if it's dead because people just don't like it or people just playing the campaign that much. Currently, this game has apparently sold like 3.5 million copies, and I really think it deserves it. My opinion, so far, it is the game of the year. It's definitely one of the better games that i played this generation. Um, I think it's a good buy. I mean, it's out for the Xbox 360, PS3, it's out for the uh, PC, and this game was good as hell. This is the um, Best Buy version, I believe, where it comes with the comic book, a slipcover... This game is action-packed, non-stop, and it was definitely worth my money, and I'm definitely glad I bought it. I mean, you know, like, I'm one of those gamers right now where I'm kind of busy, I'm always doing stuff, so I like games like can pick and, like, play and go and just play for about 30 minutes and move on. But this game, I was actually playing for, like, an hour and a half to two-hour sessions, and I actually did not have a problem doing that. It's very rare that I can sit for a game for that long to play it, because I'm always busy, I'm always doing something. With this game, I wanted to play for long times. And that's something I haven't done in quite some time. Which is definitely another reason why I really like this game. Because it made me really want to play it. Like I said, this is definitely a good game. I definitely suggest it. It should be the game of the year. And uh, if you think otherwise, and you're probably mad at me for saying that. Uh, you mad bro? <laughs> but it's me, Blake 306. is giving my thoughts and opinions on Tomb Raider, a.k.a. Tomb Raider 2013. Awesome game. I definitely suggest you buy it. Until next time, make sure to follow me on all social networks, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Peace.